Today we are going to take a closer look at a band of spiritual warriors. There are many records of holy men and women waging wars throughout history, in spite of their faith. Bishop Hedmund took arms in defense of Wessex and was struck down by Halfdan Ragnarsson's Danes at the Battle of Meriton in AD 871. Monastic military orders like the Knights Templar and the Teutonic Order were initially founded to protect Christian pilgrims, and the concept of warrior monks is a common element across Asian cultures. A San Sipahi, meaning Saint Soldier, is a Sikh who follows the spiritual and martial teachings of Guru Hargobind. In Japan, the Buddhist Zohei were an order of warrior monks born out of and sustained by periods of imperial rebellion. Perhaps one of the best known examples of warrior monks is that of the legendary Shaolin monastery in Denfeng. The Indian Buddhist monk Bodhidharma was its first abbot in the early 6th century and is credited with training the very first Shaolin monks in what would become one of the world's most famous martial arts, Shaolin Kung Fu. Though the monks led a largely peaceful meditative way of life, frequent incursions forced their hand and often saw them fighting invaders off from Shaolin. In the wake of an uprising and the assassination of the Zui dynasty emperor Yang in AD 618, the general and future emperor Liu Yan attempted to retake the city of Luyang, but soon found himself staring down defeat when his forces were wildly outnumbered by reinforcements. In the midst of the chaos and bloodshed, it was said that 13 Shaolin monks could be seen fighting off invaders in the heart of the city and helped turn the tide to an eventual victory for Liu Yan. The monks were honored by the new emperor of the ascendant Tang dynasty, who granted them the rights to train their warrior monks and dubbed Shaolin a supreme temple. In Conqueror's Blade, doctrines of harmony have long prevailed in the land west of Haoyang. But even a land as harmonious as this cannot enjoy peace forever. The Kudril monks, like their historical counterparts, are a monastic order of spiritual warriors who detest war yet fight when they must. These benevolent monks are said to be favored by the gods and use their blessed martial arts abilities to safeguard those in need. When they come down the mountain and return to the world, they do so to eradicate evil and preserve good. The cudgel monks, dressed in narrow sleeved robes, are quick to act and are adept at using staves. Though not as sharp or daunting as a blade, their staves strike swiftly and deal considerable levels of continuous damage. Following a momentum building charge towards enemies, the monks can unleash a powerful flying kick to hit hard and break ranks. Cudgel monks function as a highly effective effective defensive unit, though they lack armor they have formations designed to avoid taking range damage and to make themselves into a tighter compact unit, a smaller target that can hit harder when charging for a deadly strike. Their assorted traits are highly effective in hindering the enemy too. While under attack, cudgel monks will gain defense points and refill their health every second. They can also deal additional damage to cavalry units while slowing said unit's movement speed and reduce all enemies' movement speed with every strike. Stay tuned for more news on Season 8 Dynasty, before its launch on July 8th. For further reading on the Shaolin monks, check out Learn Religions and An Inspired, which are going to be linked in the description below. As always guys, thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and have a wonderful day!